Well, it looks like we finally got what we're waiting for, a killing frost. Finally, get all them plants to die and dry down for once. Been struggling with it always being so wet. Now it just has to warm back up. That's that's the next problem. Dad's over here trying to wash off the service trail a little bit. He wasn't impressed with how dirty it was. While we had these two rain days, I went and I bought an absolute unit. This old beater right here. Something to beat on and not worry about so much on a newer vehicle. He's a 1999 GMC Suburban. We got 203,000 miles on it. Sweet barn doors in the back. We gave her a nice detailing yesterday. Now she's all shiny on the inside. Now I gotta match the Cameron's beater over there. We should race the beaters one time. Yeah. You open the door and I can smell the black eye stuff down there. Really? Yep. Well, we made it, but it still feels pretty wet out here. There's maybe the plants that are up above the ground are a little drier. We got a little maintenance to do. We did get these fueled up before we left in the rain. We got to get the grain cart unloaded and we got to get the trucks all unloaded. Now we got to grease these machines. So that's going to be what we do while we wait a little bit longer for it to dry. It ain't very warm out. We did get that frost this morning, but we got clear skies and a little breeze blowing. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna give you guys a tip. Now, there's the grease circ on top of the rotor that everybody hates to do because it sucks. You know, because you kind of have to crawl down there. And for big healthy men like me, that just doesn't work. Here is how you a lot easier do it. You unfold the auger, you come around on top here as every healthy man would and come to it from the side. And if you can't see it, you got your feet on it here, you just spin the rotor until you can see it then. Makes life way easier versus crawling down on top of the rotor that sucks then you just go like this you do the, the moonwalk on the rotor belt here so you can get to the circuit right there you guys should leave a comment those of you that know that little move the auger out trick to get to the on top of the rotor i remember trying to crawl my big healthy butt down there and that makes for a lot easier the real question is why does this ha over half a million dollar machine not have an automatic greaser right here next to me i don't get this there's cattails it's like a slew on a side hill but then down there where brandon is is the bottom of the hill it's dry i believe it's a spring in the hill like brandon just said but we have not been able to farm it it's on a hill and i just i don't know it don't make no sense our moisture is not so right we're really pushing our luck here yield's good but the moisture oof that's a little high well i made a round i'm gonna get out and do a little bit of investigating here I might have a rock in my rock trap still so i'm gonna dump that we're also going to check and see if uh, we're throwing any out the back end again. And I keep hearing a noise when I lift my header as if there's like, I don't know, it's like a grinding, banging, knocking noise. Looks like we're thrashing okay. Ah, I always should try to park the wind the right direction there. That's such a dusty job. Mom's not feeling the greatest today, so we got Isaac out here running our third combine for us. I'd like for that chopper chaff to be hitting to the outside of the row here. He's gonna have to speed that up a little bit. Now that is what we call a load. 146,000 pounds of soybeans. That thing is railed. That's crazy that there is over two semi loads currently sitting on there. We just got a truck back, but I got a little bit of room in me now. So we're gonna get going. Waiting again. It looks like it's gonna be one of these type of days. And it gives me a chance to come out here, stretch my legs, and see how good of a job we're doing again. Yeah, we're doing good. When I park like that and I can't find any soybeans, that's when you know you're doing a good job. Just started going here again. JT's gonna be coming up here in a minute. So you case guys out there, I don't know if I have very many of them that watch me. Are you able to stop, put it in reverse, and auto track stay engaged? And I'm backing up in reverse and my auto track is still on. Does that work on a new case or not? Ah, we're spelling! He's too far away! Like, you're so far away, JT. You're probably go over that approach. Don't turn sharp. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, yeah, stop. Uh, took till 352 to finally hit our targeted moisture. I believe 
13% is dry on beans. Either 13 or 13.5. I don't remember. One of the two. The first load we took out this morning, the elevator came back at 15.1. So, that's not horrible, but this is where we'd like to be. Everyone's full. I'm full. JT was full. Isaac over here is full. And Brandon's coming over the hill right over there full. It's a good problem to have, I guess, but we need more trucks. The problem is where we're hauling is probably the furthest haul we'll ever have. You guys are literally gonna put right back down here. I just took off. JT made a bit of a mess here filling trucks. He's got a pile of soybeans on the ground. He goes, can we get that cleaned up before dad sees it? Don't worry, JT, we're putting this stuff on YouTube. So what I'm doing here, I took my header and I curled it all the way forward as far as I can. I'm just gonna see if I can combine that pile up. That kind of worked ish. Oh well, people make mistakes. Not everybody's perfect like me, JT. We got supper brought to the field. Looks like we got chicken and rice. I think I'm gonna take my time while I'm not combining and eat this. Mmm. The sun is officially down. We're opening up a new field. I hope it doesn't get tough on us too quickly here. Hopefully we can go for a while. I don't know how many more trucks we're gonna get tonight though. That's gonna be the next problem. It's so satisfying when you can have a nice even bead on the go at night, baby. What do we got on there, George? 139,000. 139,000 on the go? I'll take it. 